Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the countdown timer on your Casio G-Shock Module 3150 watch, better known as the first generation Mudman Solar. So this watch has a countdown timer. It gives you anywhere from one minute to 24 hours of time range you can do. The first thing you need to do is you need to get to the timer mode. Right now I'm in my regular timekeeping mode. We're going to simply press the bottom left button. That is our mode button. We're going to press it a couple times until we see a screen that says TMR. That is our timer. When you get to it like this and you see it set at zero, 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 that is the maximum, which is 24 hours. The way you know that is if you simply press the start button, which is the bottom right button, it will begin your timer and you'll notice that it's counting down from 24 hours. I'm at 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 53 seconds. Start begins your timer. It also stops it, resumes it, again stop, and then you've got a reset button up here to reset the timer. If you want to change the timer, while you're in the timer mode, all you're going to do is press and hold the adjust button. After a couple seconds, the hour indicator will start blinking. You can use either the top right button or the top or the bottom right button to adjust the hours. Again, anywhere from zero to 24. I should say zero to 23. So let's do a, uh, let me go all the way down back to zero. Set your hour the way you want it. Once you're done with the hour, we're gonna press the mode button and that will take us to our minutes. Now my minutes are blinking and again, I can press either of these buttons to go to minutes. So now I've got a one minute timer that's set. Once you've got it set the way you want, instead of pressing and holding the top right button, we're gonna simply just press the top right button and that will confirm our changes. It also tells you down here the value that you've got. So I've got a one minute timer set. The reason it didn't show that before is because it was 24 hours. What this is showing you is the total time of your timer the top value up here is showing the elapsed time. So it'll make more sense when I start it. Oh, sorry, press the bottom right button. And again, my timer that's remaining 55 seconds of a one minute timer. Just for the record, you do not have to stay in the timer mode. So I've got a timer going, maybe you're grilling or something like that. You can always press the mode button, go back to any other mode you want to. The timer will be running in the background. What I'll do is I set a one minute timer. Maybe I'll give it a few seconds here. I'll let the timer uh, go off and I'll show you what it looks like whenever the timer uh, goes off. And now my timer is going off. If I press any button, it will stop the timer. It will only go off for 10 seconds and then it will automatically turn off on its own. That's the one negative about it is you would think that timer would go off a little bit longer than 10 seconds, but unfortunately it doesn't. Pretty simple stuff. If we go back to our timer, there's not much to see other than it just remembers what your last timer value was. So one minute timer was the last thing we used. It just remembers that information. We could adjust it the same way we did earlier in the video. I hope that makes sense. It shows you how to use the countdown timer on your module 3150 watch. As always, I appreciate you watching.